Hey guys, it's a Tin Man. It's going to be a little bit noisy probably. I'm going to show you some really interesting facts. There's going to be people right now recognizing this spot. So if you're a newbie, start to realize you can start to recognize my spot. I am covering certain areas, so I come back to many of the same locations. And this in particular location gives us a view of the Popo Clan marker tree. You see that tree way, way back there? That's what we call the Popo Clan marker tree. I'm not on a close zoom at all. And the reason is, is because we're going for some good picture quality and we need some more science questions answered. And we're going to talk to the robin here and see what she's got going on. Kidding, of course. But we got corn here. A couple of years back I asked because they do stimulation and growth in these trees. So all of these trees here are a heck of a lot different. One of the spots I talked about a lot is that ridge there. And what you have to take into consideration is also all of the trees have grown a lot. So when you see those towering trees over the other trees and such, take into consideration that that percentage is way higher in the last three years. Three years and beyond that, the speed of the growth was probably most likely seemingly like it would have been quite a bit different. Anyways, I was doing a little bit of walking around here and doing my research. And you see, you know how I talk about all the cracking on this road on the roads. And this in particular road got its abuse done just recently and I've gone and talked to the city about this. But what I want to talk to us about the corn is got a question. One of my questions is, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, how many ears on average came out of a stalk of corn? Okay, look at the size of that sucker right there for just noticing there's a big difference in some of the sizing of it. But most of all, and it was the question that I asked people, I said, what's the deal with this? And they said it was normal. And I said, okay. So now I'm back here looking again. And I know a lot more about these Bigfoot creatures. And I know how they act and how they behave and so on and so forth. So now instead, I'm looking at it again. And I'm kind of trying to say the thing. Shouldn't this kind of looking like it wants to be a root system be down within the earth levels? Like, isn't that really what it's supposed to be doing? And it is. And remember what I tell you guys all the time. They do a very similar stimulation of root growth, of tree growth, of all kinds of um, different plants and stuff. So I'm wondering, are we benefiting also in our corn? And off of the top of my head, I'm going to say, without anybody notice, noticing this ever before, this is an absolutely 100% new piece of information saying that maybe these creatures do something to encourage a heavier, better stock, more ears, more something. There's only specific ones that, along this outer limits, that are showing the, the bouncing out um, extra root system. Let's see if we go back in there a little bit. Yeah, guys. Like, I don't see the same format as, as it in, in there. So what that comes into telling us once again is where there's a visual visual tree that gives you a lot of information they might encourage that tree more so than the trees other trees that are around that they find uh, they, they're not going to bother looking at them let's spend some time here family we'll get this one going so then they just you know get used to it just like it maybe at the end of your driveway or right on your sidewalk by your door and stuff there's a bunch of cracking going on and stuff and th that's because um, outer city work all the same stuff goes on but where we heavy heavily come together 
they talk, they do a lot of their language there in the stuff. Now you see in all these rest spots, that's the same format in a very similar way of what they're um, spreading around our community in our malls and stuff. So we got to really come together and start to realize, wow, our stuff is really adding up and this guy's reaching out. He's reached out to the cops a number of times. He's reached out to the city. The city's listening better this time because they're so far behind in this kind of repair and they know it's just going to jump up worse. Concrete roads, same idea. I talked to him about the hydropoles. All it's a matter of is a couple of phone calls. I told him about, I think I told him about the concrete on dams and stuff being messed with. Hydro will have their eyes on it. They have their eyes on the poles. They're trying to figure out what's going on with all this system. Finally, they're going to know. Once they open their mind and open this page and see this video or somebody tells them and they believe it and so on and so forth. And once they get to know, then it's just remarkable. It's just remarkable. Like there's, uh, there's answers. Peace out from the Tin Man. Will they be watching me? 100%. I would bet any money on it if I had the money. I'll give you my car. My house. I'll give you my house. If I'm wrong, I'll give you my house. What's that sound? Peace out from the Tin Man. They love it in there. They love it everywhere. That's a big congregation right in here. And that's because nobody's close in there bothering them. They got quite a few acres in there. I don't know how many, but there's got to be a few hundred at least. And yeah, they're enjoying it. Peace out from the Tin Men. Darn, I'm out of battery life almost. I got a plan.